hello guys welcome back to my channel so guys uh, today in this video we are going to learn how to configure and use azure machines learning automated machine learning in azure machine learning so how we configure and use this uh, tool so we will see that one and we learn so the first thing we will do is we will configure the azure machine learning workspace ml workspace so uh, guys before you perform this uh, this uh, lab make sure that you have uh, and valid uh, a valid Azure subscription. So, as you can see, I have already logged into my uh, portal. Azure. Com. So, here search machine learning in the search box. So, as you can see that Azure machine learning. No. Click on the new workspace. Select your subscription. Select your existing. Uh, select your resource group. If you have existing one, you select. Otherwise, create new resource group. So I say test test one. You need to specify a, a name. So I say as your ML now select your region, your storage account, evolt, your application and uh, So we are going with the default configurations or default name of the Azure Key Vault and the storage account. If you want, you can create a new one as per your requirement. But we are going with the default one and uh, container registry. We are going with the none. So now click on the review and create. And then click on create wait for the uh, resource to get uh, deployed as you can see that the deployment is in progress so we need to wait for this process to get completed first before we move to the next step as you can see guys that uh, my resource has been deployed successfully so click on this uh, go to resource and uh, you can see my resource has been completed uh, successfully it has been deployed and uh, here you see the launch studio click on the launch studio So you can also uh, browse to uh, ml.azure.com <coughs> Now here you see this we have different options on the left hand side and here you have the option all workspace click on this and you can see that the workspace we have created previously and the subscription status now now guys click uh, here you can see uh, this option manage a preview feature and <coughs>
Now you see this, there are different options available which you can enable or disable. But for us we need this uh, one, guided experience for submitting training jobs with serverless computing. So make sure this option is enabled. If not, enable this one and uh, close this. Except this, um, uh, almost all the uh, all the features are enabled by default. Uh, now close this one and now let's see. Here, now, once you enable that feature, click on your your uh, workspace, and on the left hand side under the authoring, you have automated ML. Click on this option, close this, and you can see that there is option new. So, and there are other options available. So, click on the new automated ML job. Specify your job name as per your uh, information, as per your requirement. Now, name it. MS Learn Bike Normal Auto ML. Now, new experiment name you want to change it or you want to go with the same depending on your requirement. You go and descriptions automated machine learning for bike rental predictions. Tagging, if you want to use the tagging, you, you can enable that, you can uh, select your tag. Now click on next. Now select your task type. So we are going with the regression and then we have to create a new data set. So click on create. Specify a name. So I say by rental and specify the descriptions if you want and the type tabular now click on next on the data source you have to select a right format so for us we are going with the web file so from web file so when you go with the web file that's mean you have to specify the url of the site where your informations are available or you can also you can also if you have data in your sql database you can also pull the informations from there if you have azure storage okay guys uh, you know uh, storage account how to configure, uh, configure a storage account azure storage account if you have some uh, doubt or query so you can refer to my uh, my ag1003 3 playlist which i have already uploaded in the uh, my youtube or in my uh, channel so you can also uh, specify the you can use uh, as your storage or if you have local file you can use that one as well as a source of your informations or from the open data set. 
so depending on your uh, your availability of the informations you can define your different data source so data source refer to the place from where your uh, historical data will be pulled so i am going with the web web file and now we need to specify the website if you go here in this site so there is already this informations available okay this informations available from where it will actually pull the or even if you want you can save those informations uh, as a local file and you can pull that informations as well now you we have defined the url and uh, as you can see this option don't make any changes say next it validated the informations now we are under the setting page and you can see the informations has pulled from like uh, from that website now certain changes we need to make as you can see that file format delimited and uh, delimited is our now in the delimited keep the common one comma and encoding is the same so we are not going to change this one now column header as you can see column header now here only first file has header select this option and uh, skip rule rows none and uh, don't select this option don't select this option so say next and on the skip on the schema check the default setting so in the schema page we don't need to make any changes except the default setting and simply click on next and then click on the create now we are now back to task type and data now here task type we have already selected uh, regression data set scroll down we have selected the data set and uh, so click on next now we are on the task setting as you can see that task type regression data is this target column so let's see yeah rental integer scroll down view advanced configuration settings and here primary matrix don't make change uncheck this option uncheck this one as well and allowed model click on the down drop box and uh, we need to scroll down or we can search so 
रैंडम फॉरेस्ट एंड So make sure that you have selected your models and once it is selected under the limit you can see maximum trials make it 3 concrete trials make 3 maximum node depending on your requirement and matrix score threshold define a value here experiment timeout so and set this option validation test type train validation split percentage validation set accept the default and test data accept the default So guys, these are the informations that we have. Oh. Now, once it is done, say okay, validation. So accept the default informations, and then say next on the. Compute sections. So we are going with the serverless and virtual machines type will be CPU based dedicated and uh, virtual machine size select the one you want. So we are going with this one. DS3 uh, V2 uh, number of instances that you want we are going with the default one now once it is done click on the submit training job so this process may take a bit time so keep on refreshing
now uh, it has started automatically as you can see and this process will take uh, time it may take uh, 10 to 15 minutes or even longer so just i'm going to pause the video as you can see you can see that the deployment has been completed successfully so it took around uh, 5 5 minutes or 10 minutes to get it completed so remember when you perform this lab uh, it has some waiting time so don't get uh, um, upset so wait for the task to get completed now as you can see there are different uh, options available here on the overview tab you can see there are many options available and here you have algorithm so look at the algorithm now Click here. Now you can see the informations. Now click on the matrix and you can see there are some informations predicted. One and you can see this. So we have predicted and we have this view. So this information you can see and uh, let's click on the model. and you have deploy option so click on the deploy wave click on the down drop and you see there are three options click on the web service name it Compute type as your container instance and enable authentications. If you want you can see your deployment status so it has some waiting time 
So meanwhile, I'm just going to pause the videos to keep the video length shorter. Now guys, now you can see that my deployment has been completed successfully. So now if I click on the de deployed rentals, so it is showing me healthy. So it takes time, uh, uh, 5 to 10 minutes it takes. So if I go to the test and you can see that it will generate some value. So You can see the inputs. Now you need to enter the informations. Here you define the your year I say twenty twenty. 2024 season then weekdays you define working days you define according to your requirement or temperature temp Once you feed all this information, click on test and it will generate a predictions. Now change this values. And then you see. so it will show you the result. So thank you guys this for watching this video and uh, we'll request you to kindly please follow the steps properly and uh, try to perform the labs hope to see you in my next video thank you and guys please before you before you uh, close make sure you delete all your resources
so I delete my endpoint I am going to delete all the resources that you have deployed I am going to my resource group and I say delete Make sure your services have been deleted before you close your uh, portal or you sign out. Thank you guys for watching my video. Hope to see you in my next video soon. Bye bye.